Hey, Tommy Zonis Advice. I just wanted to come to you guys today to go ahead and talk about um, talk about and motivate. So talk about things you can do um, if you're out there on your first day, having a rough day, um, and also to motivate. Um, so let's say today is your first day, okay? You're nervous. Um, you can feel your nerves in your hands. Just know that everything is going to be perfectly fine. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. And understand that on your first day, it's okay to make mistakes. Okay? Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I've been doing it for a little while. Um, and I still make mistakes. And that's okay. Um, but you, what you want to do is learn from your mistakes. But also understand that you could possibly make more mistakes. You know, the job is high high speed, high high pace, very physical, you're gonna be tired, um, and you're gonna run into some unexpected circumstances. Um, and what I mean by that, you're gonna run into the neighborhood patrol people, it's what I like to call them. These are the people that are the nosy people in the neighborhoods, in the areas that you go in. And they, they're, you know, uh, looking at you getting out the van they're examining the van or maybe sometimes which i've experienced myself i've been followed a couple times um i believe i've gotten the cops called on me a couple times um that's just the world we live in you know um but those certain circumstances i never let it affect my day because what I do know and what you do need to understand is that it's just a job, okay? So you do not need to be breaking your neck. You do not need to be breaking your back for a job. Yes, you need it to survive. Yes, you need money to survive. But at the end of the day, you matter, your health matters, and your well-being matters, okay? So if you are not feeling up to it on your first day, second day, uh, you know, week of, if it's not for you, that's okay. If you need, or you feel like you need more guidance, you need more training, do not feel embarrassed to ask for extra help. Okay. It's very important to understand that everybody, you know, especially if you're in a, a DSP that hopefully you have a DSP that's understanding, um, and the staff in that, within that DSP, they're going to be understanding. They're going to be willing to help you. Um, you know, uh, Ask them, ask them questions, ask them, um, you know, uh, tips, techniques. Um, what I will say for the newbies out there, um, besides taking a deep breath, besides um, realizing that it's just a job, okay, um, is to get in touch with yourself, right? I think sometimes, um, like let's say, you know, you run into a customer and they're trying to rush you. And maybe that rubbed you the wrong way because you had just been working so hard. You know, you started off with like a hundred and something packages. You had apartments, you had business, and you had houses. Um, you know, and, and that could be a lot in one route. And this one customer just comes and rubs you the wrong way. Um, and I think, yes, in the model of Amazon, in the model of a lot of companies and businesses, the customer is always right because without the customer, there would be no business. Without that customer, you know, ordering stuff, you know, we basically wouldn't have a job, you know. Um, so, you know, as far as the give and take, that goes both ways to be appreciative of that customer. But at the same time, there's a line of respect, you know, and sometimes certain people that you encounter um it has nothing to do with you okay they just are having a rough day themselves and they want someone to take it out on okay and you could be that person sadly but do not let that break you do not let that you know uh motivate you um do not become unmotivated stay motivated you know get the job done because at the end of the day these certain circumstances these certain situations you run into um I mean, hopefully you won't encounter this person, you know, anymore, you know, just give them their package, go about their day. Um, I mean, you can sincerely say apologies, you know, um, that's always nice, even if you didn't do anything wrong, um, because sometimes people are going through their own issues, their own struggles. And so sometimes when they lash out it's not even about you it's not even about the package it's not even about the package being ripped and taped 
it's not even about the time that you came as far as what the map showed and now I differentiated because maybe you had to use the bathroom or maybe you needed a 20 minute you know and they didn't add that into the time that it told the customer that the package you know would arrive um so maybe they're frustrated you know but it could be some other things going on in their in their mind you know um in, in their lives everybody has struggles everybody has things that's going on with them but at the same time you know i would say uh, amazon delivery it, it does take a a soul person a person that you know um is determined hard working and motivated you know to get that job done um and what i've learned from my experiences is to don't take things so personal um, take it as it is and I'm gonna go about my business you know there's been several times like I've mentioned before I've had the cops called on me um, you know I've had um, the nosy neighbors I've had people ignore me when I say hello and I'm approaching them they act like, they act as if I'm not there yes that hurts but at the same time it is what it is you know that has nothing to do with me it has something to do with them um, and you need to understand that, you know, you're doing the best that you can do and that's all you can do. And through time and through the weeks and through the months, you're going to progress. You're going to get better. Um, you know, maybe you had a rescue, maybe you needed somebody to rescue you. That's okay. You know, you're new. And let me tell you, I, when I started out, it was rough because, um, I caught on, but I kept getting, I didn't get the best routes. Like when I started off last year, it was with a different DSP. And um, I wasn't getting the best routes. Um, I was getting really like heavy routes. And I did get hired during the peak, peak season, which is the winter season, Christmas, all of that. Um, and unfortunately, the nursery that, that I started out with, it was not 80 packages. It was not um, 80 stops. It was like 290, I will never forget, 290 packages with 100 and 170 stops, I believe. Um, and I think that was on my second day, right? My second day, um, you know, after second day being out there on my own, fourth day, I did the two day, you know, two day uh, ride along where I watched somebody one day, did it, you know, myself the next day. Um, and I think the third day, um, I kind of wanted to do a ride along, but I didn't get a full ride along because I was just trying to get comfortable with the van or whatever. Um, end up having to, they end up taking that guy because I guess somebody called off from the first second cycle because I was first cycle for that company, so I had to. I got there at like six, um, loaded out, loading out started at like I think like seven thirty. Um, anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, yes, you're going to have a rough day. Yes, you're going to have some tricky routes. Yes, you know, your gadget's probably going to stop working, but it's nothing to panic about. You can use Google Maps, use your phone, utilize technology that you have. Um, and I also have other helpful videos that I feel like, you know, um, people that are new, people are new, you know, delivering. Um, you know, you can, you can understand the ins and outs of what they're looking for, what you really need to be focusing on, um, you know, and things of that nature. But I hope this was helpful and understand that mistakes is something that's going to eventually help you progress. Um, yes, a mistake is a mistake. Um, I mean, even if it's, you know, delivering the package to the wrong location. Um, yes, that's a mistake. Yes, the other person maybe didn't get their package. Yes, it's going to go back to the DSP, but everybody's human. You're human. People make mistakes. That's fine. But that's how you grow. That's how you learn. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please um, go ahead and list them below. Any experiences that you've had. I love hearing about um, experiences, whether you're new, whether you're old, um, because I currently am a delivery driver. So, um, yeah, experiences happen, different experiences happen for me like every day. Like, um, thank you so much for tuning in. You enjoy the rest of your day. Um, yes, stay warm. I mean, I know it's kind of, or stay cool, it depends on where you're at. <laughs> it's kind of fallish here. I'm in Illinois, so, so I got this hoodie on. Um, again, thanks for tuning in.